All right. I'm going to shoot this little video. And I'm going to try and explain and show what I've done to run as efficient of wiring as possible under the hood. Especially you for V-Man and your future wiring for your DB drag. So, I am running three batteries, two alternators, and plenty of zero gauge and two aught. And my philosophy when I'm doing this wiring is I want the negative source of my car to be as large and powerful as possible. Voltage is electron pressure, so it's the contrast between the high pressure source and the low pressure source. Not necessarily how much power you can get, but it's the contrast between the two. So, I wanted my car to be the largest ground possible. All the grounds together, the whole car acting as one big negative source to as efficiently as possible pull the power from the batteries and the alternators. So, I'm going to start with what I have wired and how I have it all done. Alternator 1 is at the bottom. Alternator 1 is grounded to the engine and then chained to the suspension bolt. Alternator 1 also has a zero gauge power wire that runs to battery 1. Battery 1 is runs the car and has the stock alternator on it. Alternator 2 also grounded to the same spot. Suspension bolt goes right to the frame. And power wire power wire to battery 2, which chains right into my main power wire that runs to the back. Now with the batteries. The batteries I have battery one and battery two in parallel. So a little short power wire connecting positive to positive and an even shorter connecting negative to negative. And then I have each battery grounded in zero to the same same kind of spot right there. And to make sure that I don't have any as efficient grounding as possible not going through the engine block, I also have a two watt wire that one's from one side to the other. And one more engine ground. That runs there. So, you have both alternators grounded in zero, both batteries grounded in zero, the grounds connected, batteries in parallel, and then that leaves me with my final positive negative run to the back. Alright, we'll take this into the into the darkness that is my car. Alright. So here comes my power ground power ground into the kinetic. The kinetic has power going in, power going out. Power going out goes straight to the amp right there. Keeping in mind with the whole as efficient as possible, the negative terminal on the kinetic runs to the front and has two ground sources to the body of the car in the back and negative runs from the kinetic to a ground source in the met in to the metal of the car between the battery and the amp and straight to the amp. So that one ground wire grounds the amp and then to the metal and then to the battery and then to the front battery and then to the alternators all the batteries all the grounds are chained to make it as efficient as possible and because I know V-Man you're gonna be reading this and you're watching this not reading I finally finally got some components in the front and those polks have been pounding in here for a year and a half finally took them out I'm still going to change it up and put covers on it or some shit, but, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you like the video tour.